Hello friends, this video on cell, the unit of life, part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we will start our discussion with endoplasmic reticulum. So let us see what is endoplasmic reticulum. Quite a complex name, isn't it? What is endo? Endo means inside. So endo means inside. Plasmic. Plasmic is something related to plasma. Plasma is nothing but your cytoplasm. So it is something related to cytoplasm. And reticulum means network. So it is basically a network which is present inside cytoplasm. So that is endoplasmic reticulum. So it is a complex network of membrane bound tubule. So some tube like structures not only in one or two but a network itself which is surrounded by membrane and is embedded in the cytoplasm. These, these can be tubular or round or oblong in shape. They are very very well developed in higher animals. For example if you look at the endoplasmic reticulum in lower animals like sponges or cylindrates they might not be that well developed but in higher animals they are quite well developed. Sometimes egg or embryo cells might lack them because they are not that developed. Where is it located? It is located around the nucleus. Appearance wise, it looks different in different cells depending upon its function. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now, endoplasmic reticulum is often abbreviated as ER because the name is quite big and complex. So, it is often called as ER. So, there are two types, rough ER and smooth ER. Now, let us look at how it, they look. So, this is your endoplasmic reticulum. So, these structures, you see some tube-like structures many tube-like structures together. So here also you see they are not exactly tube-like structures, tube-like structure with lot of folds in them and they are located quite close to the nucleus. This is nucleus. This green colored structure which you see that this is the nuclear membrane and these structures are the nuclear pores. And just attached to them is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So the endoplasmic reticulum remains quite close to the nucleus. So now we will talk about the two types that is RER and SER. Before that let us look at the location of endoplasmic reticulum in animal cells. So where do you see endoplasmic reticulum here? Rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So this is rough endoplasmic reticulum and this is smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So here you can see the structure also. So this is endoplasmic reticulum. Now their appearance in plant cells. Here if you see, this is your endoplasmic reticulum. So the appearance varies uh, in case of different types of cells. So that, that's why it was told that depending upon their function, their look and feel might be different in different cells. So let us first talk about rough endoplasmic reticulum. So these are those endoplasmic reticulum which have ribosomes attached to their surface. The ribosomes are again some uh, structures which are present inside the cell which are responsible for synthesis of proteins. So ribosomes are extremely important that is. We will discuss about ribosome towards the end of this lesson. So these endoplasmic reticulum they have ribosomes on their surface. Now due to the presence of ribosome their surface is granular or rough in appearance and that is why they are called rough endoplasmic reticulum. So if you see this is this portion is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and you can see small dot like structures and they are nothing but ribosomes. And this is rough endoplasmic reticulum. 
So proteins are manufactured in ribosome, then transported to other parts through endoplasmic reticulum. Now since this endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosomes and ribosomes synthesize proteins. So the main function of rough endoplasmic reticulum is protein synthesis and then transporting it to other parts of the cell. Now looking at their structure, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is continuous with the membrane of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. See, rough endoplasmic reticulum ends here and then it gets connected to smooth endoplasmic reticulum from here. So it is connected continuously with smooth endoplasmic reticulum on one side and it is connected at certain places with the nuclear membrane. So you see on the other side it is directly connected to the nuclear membrane. So this side. So both the side it is continuously connected to either the nuclear membrane or the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Talking about its structure in little more detail, they are composed of cisternae and tubules. So if you look at this structures, you see some orange like structures which looks like sac, some sac like structures. So these are nothing but cisternae. So these structures are known as cistern and also they have some tube like structures like how you see here some tubular structures so that is what they are composed of so when you observe it even more closely you can see the rough endoplasmic reticulum with the ribosomes on it the blue colored structures now talking about the smooth endoplasmic reticulum There are no ribosomes attached here and therefore the surface is quite smooth. So if you see this portion, so in this portion you do not see those dot structures. So they, are, they have a smooth surface. So what is their function because since ribosomes are not there they cannot do protein synthesis. So what do they do? They help in synthesis of fat molecules and lipids. So fat and lipid synthesis. They also help in detoxification of chemicals which is a very very important property. Now as the main function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum is lipid synthesis that is why it is found more in cells whose function is to create is to secrete lipids. For example the liver cells or the fat cells they are the places where smooth endoplasmic reticulum is found more. Again Talking about its structure, smooth endoplasmic reticulum is continuous with rough endoplasmic reticulum at one end and it is continuous with the membrane of Golgi apparatus at some places. So Golgi apparatus starts from this side. So not throughout but at some places it might be continuous with Golgi apparatus. Now let us discuss this detoxification part. Now as I said uh, that they are present in cells where uh, fat synthesis is more. For example, liver cells. Now let's just take an example. What happens? You would have often seen that people say that yeah. drinking alcohol is injurious to health. Why? Because whenever there is an alcohol intake inside the body, the liver has to. So there are a lot of poisonous uh, substances present in alcohol. There are toxins present in that which might harm the body. So what does the liver do? The liver does the detoxification of those harmful materials. So whenever there is alcohol intake, if somebody is consuming alcohol, the liver has to function more in order to detoxify the harmful chemicals. Now in order to help the liver, smooth endoplasmic reticulum doubles its surface area to increase the detoxification process. Now smooth endoplasmic reticulum is present in liver. So what it does, it increases its surface area so that it can fasten the process of detoxification. And once that, once the body returns to its normal uh, state or once the effect of the alcohol is has subsided, then the smooth endoplasmic reticulum comes back to its normal size. But if the intake of alcohol is too high, like if somebody is consuming alcohol say once in a year, that is 
still not harming the body that much because your liver is detoxifying it smooth endoplasmic reticulum is increasing its surface area once the effect has subsided it comes back to its normal state but if the intake is too high if somebody is consuming alcohol in high quantities or the frequency of intake is too high what will happen the smooth endoplasmic reticulum will not be managed to detoxify so much of harmful chemicals so it will not be able to perform its job properly and smooth endoplasmic reticulum can be damaged and that is the case when and that is the stage rather when the body starts getting harmed due to intake of alcohol so smooth endoplasmic reticulum this is a very important function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum that it helps in detoxification of harmful chemicals and toxins and it converts those chemicals into water soluble substances which are safer for the body so now let us look at the overall significance of endoplasmic reticulum proteins and lipids manufactured here are used in building the plasma membrane as enzymes and hormones Endoplasmic reticulum acts as a channel to transport materials to different parts of the cell. It detoxifies poisons and drugs. So this part is taken care by smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Protein synthesis is taken care by rough endoplasmic reticulum. Lipid synthesis is taken care by smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And it also helps to transport materials. Now, whatever proteins or lipids are synthesized here, they need to be transported to other parts of the cell. So endoplasmic reticulum also sends these materials out of endoplasmic reticulum to different parts of the cell. So these are some of the significant functions of endoplasmic reticulum. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.